guys, the are you working? I don't know how to tell you the are you working? Hi y'all, I know it's been a long time since you've seen me, but that's because I'm lazy. And also we moved, if you can't tell, we moved to New Brunswick. We don't, I'm not a Torontoian anymore. Anyways, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm making a crochet video. I'm showing you how to crochet this beautiful cardigan that I made and I love so dearly. Except I'm doing a blue version, a blue and white version with clouds on it. And I'm not teaching, okay, give me a second, I'm out of breath. Okay, I'm not teaching you how to crochet, but I am teaching you, like, you need to go figure out how to crochet, because that's not what I'm teaching you. But I am teaching you how to crochet, like, the cardigan I made. Um, and I'll be linking some tutorials I used in the description. Base tutorial that I used was Emma P's Harry Styles tutorial, and I'll link that in the description, but I um, altered it a little bit. So I'm telling you how I altered it to fit the beautiful strawberry cardigan that I made. By the way, it took me two weeks to make the strawberry cardigan, well, 15 days exactly, and I'm trying to, like, not take as long on this one. One, but who knows um I don't have all the yarn with me because they were out of white at Michael's so that sucks um I'm using the craft smart brand so I think that's the Michael's brand you can use any medium weight yarn you want and it'll turn out fine I'm using a five millimeter hook and also you'll need measuring tape and some scissors oh also in total I used for the strawberry cardigan I used four skeins of red and four of white but I had some left over of each I actually used three skeins of white so but this is I'm showing you how to make the blue one I'm sorry for this intro okay so I'm making 50 squares in total 26 blue and 24 white and then the ribbing will be in white also so I'm also going to join the squares as I go I'm going to start on it right now Okay, I know this audio is really bad, but I'm just voiceovering what I'm doing right here because my audio is not working. So I'm just explaining how I made the square. The square is 24 stitches across, 15 rows high, and it is roughly six and a half inches by six and a half inches. The pattern that I made will be on the screen right now if you want to pause it and screenshot it and kind of use it for if you make the cardigan but it was really helpful I just um, check marked off the boxes as I was making them and um, it really helped me out while I was making this cardigan I used it for the strawberry and the cloud one okay you can also see that I don't have audio on this clip either so I'm just explaining that I have done a join as you go method that will be linked in the description um, and this is how you kind of lay it out on the ground to get the feel of how you're going to sew it together. Um, you need two sleeves, the front panel and the back panel. And you're going to be putting clouds on each of the blue ones or whatever you decide to do. And you're going to need ribbing across the bottom, ribbing for the sleeves, and then ribbing for the front panel. Um, and then you'll also be putting ribbing on the inside, crocheting straight on to the middle of the front panel. I'll explain that more later. I'm just showing you right here that I sewed the little cloud onto the blue and then I'm just going to be doing that for every single blue square. Okay, so I have assembled all the pieces, so I'm going to lay them out in the floor and show you how to sew them all together. Now that I have crocheted all the pieces, might as well, no, 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 get away. I'm going to, well, first off, okay, it's Wednesday, October the 20th at 
12 o'clock p.m. and it's taking me one week to do this to crochet all the pieces and now I'm going to tell you what pieces you'll need. You need um, 26 blue, 24 white, 26 clouds. I'll have a link in the description to make the clouds. You'll need five pieces of ribbing and whenever you do the front two panels be sure to make these um, inner eight squares um, like about two inches shorter. I did 20 stitches across, whereas the others were 24 stitches. Sit. You cannot get on this. Get off of the thing! My squares are around six and a half to six and a half inches. They are, but I didn't measure them all. I just did 24 chains across and 15 rows high. And you'll need 50 squares in total. And then you just start assembling it, which this is how you assemble it. So the sleeves are going to be assembled like this, like half, and then down here. All you do is you sew up the sides, connecting these two. And then you sew the sleeves on and then you can sew the ribbing on. Um, and then if you want to make this, you can use the same method to make any, to make the strawberry one that I showed you pictures of, or to make any other one. Just Google how to crochet a cloud, how to crochet a strawberry, how to crochet, I don't know, like an octopus. Like you can, there's tutorials online for everything. And you can just pick a color and make it patterned, make it checkered. And if you want it, you can also, if you want it shorter, because this is very oversized, if you want it shorter, I'd recommend taking out like one or two rows probably one row of squares at the bottom and one row of squares on the front and also the sleeves are very large so how this isn't really a tutorial just kind of like I'm showing you how I did it you can edit it however much you want okay now cue the time lapse of me sewing it all together I also forgot to mention at the end of all of this I will be crocheting onto the squares a uh, ribbing that goes right here like in between the cardigan front part. I'll show you that when it gets to that part. Now cue the time lapse. This process took me six hours, so I didn't film all of it. And I also forgot to mention that I'm using my darning needle and going into the right side to sew the cardigan together. With sewing the ribbing on the sleeves, I wanted a poof effect, so I skipped a couple stitches on the sleeve, but I didn't skip any on the ribbing. After this process, I did the ribbing for the two front panels come together. Okay, so I finished assembling it all together. It took me a really long time. And next, the very last thing you're gonna do is along this part and around, do five rows of single crochet for some ribbing. And then after this clip, I'm gonna show you me styling it and some pictures I've taken with it on. Okay, everyone, I finished the cardigan. Um, instead of doing five rows on here, I did four because I'm lazy, like I said in the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. My Instagram will be linked in the description so you can see all my new projects. And stay tuned, I wanna try and be posting more videos, um, like at least two a month maybe i'm really lazy my best friend is here do you want to say hi zoe to the camera see <laughs> thank you for watching i will be trying to post more often my instagram is in the description tag me if you make this sweater or if you use this as inspiration to make anything that would be amazing so thanks for watching and i'll hopefully see you soon bye these are the pictures I ended up taking on my cloud cardigan. I really like it, so subscribe to me if you want to see more crochet videos. I've already bought yarn for my next video, and I'm very excited to start crocheting it. Thank you for watching.